Yo guys, what's up? I'm in my 2013 Fiat Abarth or Abarth. I'm really not sure how to say it, but um, there's like a lot of different ways to say it. But today I'm going to tell you the five reasons why I believe the Fiat Abarth is the best car, sports car specifically, for under $20,000 and car enthusiast car for under $20,000. Now just some background information, the Fiat Abarth or Abar, I'll just say Abarth because it's kind of a lot easier to say and my accent's probably horrible. Um, the Italians would probably kill me. But a little bit of background on this um, car. This car was actually originally um, in like, I think in the 60s or, you know, I could be completely wrong on this, but I don't know the exact details, but the Carl Abarth, I believe, is the guy behind the whole um, Abarth scheme and what they do is it's kind of like AMG or M, and they just take a stock, or just a normal factory 500, and they basically just put all the goodies in it to make it faster, more of a sports car. So, Carl Barth, I think he won like a lot of races back then and stuff like that, and his name, as you can see, still lives on till today. And these cars, um, I'm not sure what exact year they were brought into the US, but I believe, oh, is that a Hellcat? nice SRT8 just passing by. I believe it was somewhere like around 2010. Probably not that exact day, but that's when these started to get imported into the U.S. And, you know, I, there's a lot of hate and um, a lot of people don't take these cars seriously. And you can kind of understand that at the first glance, but once you actually hop into one of these, get the experience, you start to figure out what these cars are all about. <laughs> My friend is on his Grom. <laughs> He's recording too. Um, yeah, that, um, what I was saying is, yeah, you start to see what these cars are actually about. And they're not just some Fiat 500, 100 horsepower, no fun, no noise or anything. They're actually quite the opposite. They don't have any crazy numbers. If you look at it, um, some like stat figures or anything like that, you're not going to be blown away. It's somewhere around horsepower is like 160, 170 foot pounds of torque, somewhere around there. And if you look at those, you're thinking that's just like a normal everyday car. That's not good at all. But the thing is, this car only weighs like 2,500 pounds. So in everything about cars is power to weight ratio. That's all that matters because you could have a thousand horsepower and then have a 10,000 pound car and it doesn't matter. So I'm not saying this car is crazy fast, but what um, Abarth did and Fiat, they made this car to where it's kind of like one, an entry level sports car that still is extremely fun and will satisfy, I believe, 99% of car enthusiasts um, anytime they go drive it. Um, and even though it only has 160 horsepower, and if your friend says, how much horsepower does your car have? And you say 160 and they laugh, who really cares? At the end of the day, it's all about who's having fun in their car. So here are my five reasons why I believe this car is the best sports car, just fun car actually is probably the better word to use for under $20,000. Number one, out of the factory, this car sounds amazing. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of Fiat Abarth or anything like that, but from the factory, they come with a really for being a four-cylinder, a very deep sound, and they have a pretty good rumble to them. And when you're hitting it and stuff, <laughs> when you're when you're on it and let off the gas a few times, it backfires and stuff like that. And it's just a crazy driving experience that makes it extremely engaging and just wanting you to keep keep um, giving it some more. Really confident, inspiring car, and especially with the manual, you have the most fun. But yeah, so. One of the reasons why I believe it is the best, in my opinion, under $20,000 um, for, I don't know about the best, but it's definitely one of the best, in my opinion. It, the most underrated would probably be a better word to say. Um, one, from the factory, you don't have to even get aftermarket exhaust. You're gonna be completely fine with the exhaust that comes in the factory. I might get some exhaust, um, videos or something from the back but yeah I'll show you guys that later so there's one reason number two the turbocharger the turbo lag and a lot of people get annoyed turbo lag and kind of not even turbo like applications 
stuff like that. But at the end of the day, when it kind of punches you, it's really fun. So when you're in sport mode, it's crazy. It's kind of cool. The way they work this uh, computer is when you put it in sport mode, it allows the car to hold boost longer and you can get more PSI. And when that boost kicks in, it's kind of crazy. I mean, <laughs> if you're watching it, you're probably like, okay, this kid's crazy. But the truth is, is it's it's definitely quick. You're, you're not going to be like sitting back like, where's the power? When that boost kicks in, second, third gear, you got a pretty good amount of torque and it's super fun. So there's another reason why this car is super awesome. Also, how many cars under $20,000 can you say? I know this is kind of stretching out, <laughs> but you can say I drive an Italian sports car. I don't know. I think this might be the only one. So if anyone asks what you drive, oh, I just drive an Italian sports car. Now when they see your car, they might be like, okay, that's funny. But... <laughs> There's another reason why this car is so much fun. Another reason on top of that is its uniqueness. This car has an insane amount of character and flair. There's not many cars nowadays. That's a problem nowadays. Cars are boring. Every car is the same. They're just, they're not engaging. They're not fun. But Fiat has always been known as that. There's nothing like it on the streets. Fiat is such an odd car. Um, it's either like a love it or hate it, and unfortunately a lot of people hate it. These cars are actually spectacular, and that uniqueness is something. You don't see these cars all around. You just don't. I rarely see my car. Or say you drive a Ford Mustang, Camaro, Challenger, you're going to see that car everywhere. So when you have a car like this, I feel like it's just, it's kind of cool knowing that you're kind of like the only guy in the area. There's another amazing thing. For under twenty thousand dollars, you get such a unique experience and car. That's another fabulous thing about the Fiat of Arth. And also, there's the mods available for the car are amazing. There's so much support. You know how there's some cars out there that they're good cars, but the problem is, is there's not a lot of accessories for them. There are so many websites, um, businesses that offer. You could scroll all day looking at parts for this car. It's just everything from floor mats to different turbos and stuff like that. Just You can go in so many directions with this car that it's honestly unreal. There we go. <laughs> That's, every time you do that, it puts a smile on your face. It's crazy amounts of fun. Insane amounts of fun. And then that's in itself that's what this car really is all it really is is just having fun i feel like that's just such a big thing about it and a lot of people get caught up nowadays with horsepower figures what type of car it is what brand forget all that that's not what matters all that matters in the car world is if that car's fun and you enjoy driving it and i feel like this car really checks off those boxes and that's what makes me enjoy this car so much. A lot of people get caught up about, oh, what car are you driving? What brand is it? Etc. Etc. But at the end of the day, who cares? As long as you're having fun, like I said, that's all that really matters. Yeah, that's what really makes everything super fun. Because that's 
that's what a lot of people suffer nowadays is they just judge stuff without even experiencing it. Laser. Um, and yeah, that's the key thing. Just go out, guys. Oh, there's a nice. Is that a Rex? WRX. So yeah, guys, I just basically wanted to make this video to list some of the reasons why I love my Fiat Abarth and why I think we need to open up our viewpoint to more cars than just the typical sports cars. There's so many other cars out there with these small engines, um, small cars, and that's where you really have the most fun in my opinion. And the reason for that is because these cars that are big engine, high horsepower, 500 plus horsepower, they're great um, cars, don't get me wrong, I would take one any day. The only problem with them is it's hard to get that same fun factor when you just, because you're gonna be, you have to do higher stuff to get the same excitement out of it. Whereas a smaller car engine, you can constantly be on the throttle 100% all the time, just having a blast. Whereas you can't really mess around too much with a high powered car. You're, or you're either gonna crash or you're gonna be in jail. It's just the options. And I'm not saying you can crash, can't crash, or can't go to jail in one of these cars. Of course, you can go to jail, crash in any car. Just speaking about that, I think that was a Hellcat that just passed me. But that's what truly makes these cars so much fun. Let's go down this twisty road right here. And why I kind of wanted to make this video explaining what the Fiat Abarth is about. And it's not about this car. complicate it with saying like you don't have a cool car or something like that it's just, it's just dumb